Hi, it's you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Monique and I make content on home decor, home improvement, and DIY with a sprinkle of luxury and lifestyle. So if you're interested in content like that, please consider subscribing down below. Today's video is not about home decor, but it's my fragrance collection. Y'all, I love watching videos like this, so I wanted to make my own. Now, I only have 12 fragrance, well, I only have 12 full bottle fragrances, but I feel like I have fragrances for every different season, for multiple occasions. So I think I got a cute little collection. So if you are like me and you are new to fragrance collecting, or perhaps you're thinking about starting a collection, hopefully I can provide you with some tips or at the very least tell you some things not to do. Mo did that, so hopefully you won't have to go through that. Okay, so first I think I'm going to start with my first big girl perfume purchase, which was Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This is actually the toilet, but this is still good. It has a citrusy opening, but the dry down um, smells very similar to the original, which is a very luxurious, powdery, coconut sunscreen kind of smell i know that sounds crazy but trust me this is good this is perfect in warm weather this is the go-to beach vacation fragrance i mean this smells like luxury beach resort vacation that's what this smells like I actually started off with oil perfumeries impressions of soleil block and if you don't know what oil perfumery is it's basically an online company that does dupes of fragrances but it's an oil um and this is what i started off with and i'm not gonna lie i didn't think much of this fragrance at first but i would get so many compliments i mean walking onto elevators walking past people hugging people they were like what are you wearing you smell so good and i was wearing this so after i got so many compliments i was like maybe i should invest in the actual fragrance that's actually my first tip i would say don't rush out and buy big bottles of fragrances I mean, if you got money like that, then you do whatever you want to. But those fragrances can be kind of pricey. So what I would say is try out samples first or even dupes like I did in this case. And try to see if it works with your body chemistry. Try to see if it's something that you would wear a lot. And then you can decide to actually invest in a bottle of the fragrance. And even still, I still started off with this um traveling spray because i figured okay i have the oil and this traveling spray i can get it to stretch and that's another tip you can use less sprays of your perfume if you layer and it's also good um, for helping the fragrance project throughout the day so you can layer with body oils lotions creams i like to use like a complimenting um complimenting um, bath and body works lotion you can use body wash body sprays hair mist whatever um, and just layer the fragrance and that'll help you to use less sprays and also help the perfume to project throughout the day but even still I love this fragrance so much I use all of this up and a couple months ago I did go ahead and invest in the actual bottle and this is a 1.7 fluid ounce and as i stated earlier i did accidentally get the toilet if you don't know the difference between a toilet and a eau de parfum y'all i can't hardly speak english so i damn sure can't speak uh, french but um the difference between the two is the toilet has less oil concentration so it's not as strong and it doesn't last as long as usually a perfume perfume would because that has a higher oil concentration even with colognes a lot of people think that a cologne is the male version of a perfume but it's actually has to do with the oil concentration and a cologne has less oil concentration than even a toilet so there are like i have one of these fragrances that is a cologne it's unisex and all that means is that it has a less oil concentration than even a toilet so it's it's not supposed to last as long or be as strong. But yeah, that was my first big girl perfume purchase. Time for us to lay block. And next, I guess I'll talk about Hermes's Twilly. And this is the original. I haven't smelt this one in a while. Um, this is really a great warm weather scent to me too. Quick story, my son plays shot put shot put i don't know it's something with track and field so in the spring i spend a lot of my saturdays 
at track and track and field and i remember this one time i was so hot and so sweaty and i had this on and i stopped at walgreens on my way um going home and the cashier lady was like oh my god you you're so pretty and you smell so good and i'm like thank you because i definitely didn't feel that way but i know she wasn't lying because even in all that heat and with me feeling sweaty all i can smell was this perfume around me and this smells like a luxurious soap so it's a very soapy scent so to me it's perfect for hot weather because even when you're feeling sticky and sweaty and i do sweat a lot you still gonna smell like you just got done bathing in the best of the soaps <laughs> so yeah this is a very um soapy fragrance it's it's mature, but it's not old lady, but it's definitely giving mom. And I feel like the mom from Home Alone will probably wear something like this. Like it's giving, it's giving you a mom, but you got a little money. That's what this gives. So I think this will make a really good work fragrance because it does project a lot, but it's not offensive. Um, I think this is great for running errands. I, mm, I wouldn't wear this on a date because it's not it's not sexy to me, but it is a very good, clean smelling fragrance. And that is Hermes' Twilly. Since we're talking about spring summer fragrances, I guess I'll talk about Balenciaga's Floral Botanica. And y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I got this fragrance because I thought the bottle was too stinking cute. If you don't know, my favorite color is red and I just love this funky striped top. It kind of reminds me of Beetlejuice. And I love Beetlejuice too. So yeah, I definitely wanted this fragrance because of the bottle. This was a blind buy because I'm not going to lie. The notes kind of scared me. Um, I was like, mint, rose, cannabis. Like, what does this smell like? But honestly, this is not bad. This is a really good warm weather fragrance as well. Um, it's really beautiful. Like it... It just gives me, let's take a long walk around the park. Like, that's what it gives me. It feels like you're walking into a garden. Like, the opening spray of this smells like, it smells like fresh roses. Like, like it literally smells like there's a rose bush and you put your nose into it and it's fresh roses and as it dries down it kind of smells kind of powdery on me but it also smells very green like it smells like nature but it's also sophisticated i don't know but it all works together it kind of i think this would make a really great brunch scent but not the ratchet brunch i like the ratchet brunch but this is more of the brunch that you go to with your bougie friends or with I don't know, like your mother-in-law, somebody you're trying to impress, your rich auntie. I don't know, but that's what this fragrance gives me. But this is good. Okay, so another spring, summer fragrance I have is Barberry's Her. And to be honest, if you are somebody who's not looking to start a collection and you just want a fragrance that's versatile that you can wear in any different season, any different occasion... I would definitely go for her, like literally go for Burberry her because to me, this is a fruity floral. So of course you can wear it spring, summer, but it's something in the base and I'm going to put the notes somewhere on the screen. It's something in the base of this that's very rich and grounded. So I feel like you can even wear this um in the fall winter months as well um i feel like you can wear this at any age my daughter reaches for this so you can be older or younger and still like this fragrance um it's not offensive so you can wear this to work um it's an easy grab so you can wear this to run errands you can wear, definitely wear this on a date because it's it's a it's a pretty girl scent like i just imagine a girl who wears this like she has on a a pretty dress and she's so bubbly and she's so nurturing and kind i just feel like a man would love this fragrance it smells this smells like a young pisces i'm pisces but this smells like a young pisces like she's kind of she kind of damsel in distress like the man just love her like he wants to take care of her like that's what this fragrance gives me um it's very pretty very feminine that's what i get from this it was so nice i had to do it twice i also got the intense version um and if this is a pretty feminine woman in the spring summer 
this is her with a sweater on this is like the fall version of this um the opening berries in this fragrance are richer and deeper it's kind of like they took the berries put it on the stove added a little sugar and cooked it down to a syrup or a jam it's like a um it opens with a jammy berry and it has a base that's creamy um it kind of it kind of smells like um like cherry cola or a cream soda or something like that that's what this smells like this is this is a beautiful scent for cooler weather i'm not gonna lie when it's when i wear this and it's a little bit hot it kind of smells like cough syrup on me but how the weather has been this last couple weeks like in the 70s this smells beautiful especially layered with vanilla or something like that i love this i really like both of these now do you need both um i would say no i really feel like you can get over with just this way i actually this one has been discontinued that's what if i'm not mistaken that's what made me get this um because i heard it was going to be discontinued so um So, uh, yeah, I don't think, I think that one has been discontinued and actually I have a little sample of the new elixir, the Burberry Her in the solid pink bottle. And to my nose, this, the opening of this smells just like the original, like just like it, but the dry down is completely different. Um, it's, this fragrance is much more creamier um thick kind of milky i feel like a lot of people would like this fragrance but on my body i don't like this one i don't like this one um so yeah i feel like i'll just stick with the original burberry hair as i stated you can wear this winter summer spring fall whenever next i'll talk about a transition fragrance um, this one is another fruity floral. I think it's a fruity floral. Um, I don't know. It just smells good. This is Valentino's Donna Born in Rome. Y'all, this was love at first with for me. I still remember going into the Ulta. I actually went in there to buy another fragrance. And I saw this bottle and I thought it was too cute. So kind of edgy looking. And I smelt it. And I was like, where is this? This is going home with me. Like, this is definitely, this is a grown woman scent. Like, I feel like you need to be 30 and up to wear this scent. It's not old lady, but it's grown. It's like, you know, once you turn 30, like, it, there's just a different type of sexiness and confidence that you have. And that's what I smell when I smell this. Like, I just feel like this woman she she here for a good time not a long time she not worried about too much she is out here having a good time i feel like this will be a great fragrance to wear out with your girls if you want to you know talk shit or you can also wear this on a date because it's very sexy i feel like i feel like the guys would love this too they love this girl too but it's a different kind of love than her um I don't know, just to put in the words, I feel like this is the one he's married to, but this is his mistress, but he loves them both. That's what, <laughs> I'm just telling you what I get. That's what I get. This is a very fun and flirty fragrance. I love yes. this. Fun and flirty fragrance that I have is Caroline Herrera's Very Good Girl. Y'all, this is a good one too. Um, this is actually my most recent per perfume purchase. I got this probably a couple days ago and after I, this actually what made me make this video because after I got this fragrance, I was like, I'm not buying no more bottles of perfume. I have lost my mind <laughs> and I'm going to take a break for a while, probably for a year or so because I want, I don't want to be a perfume hoarder, but it's very addicting. But yeah, I've had my nose. I'm just now getting this bottle but i've had my nose on this for a while i think it probably was spring of this year i think me and my daughter we were in sephora and we were smelling all the smells and we saw the shoes um and i've always heard about good girl but i honestly hadn't heard about very good girl we smelled all the shoes and this one made me turn my head because of that tropical note in it which i later found out is the lychee because i actually have the um 
have the oil perfumery of the impressions of Delina, which also opens up with that lychee note. Honestly, those two fragrances smell similar to me, but I said that to a fragrance head. They act like I cursed them out. But they smell similar to me, um, probably because of the lychee note. But yeah, I smelt it and I was like, I'm coming back to get that. And I eventually got the rollerball. And I just recently noticed that Macy's had the gift set on sale. And that's why I have this big bottle. Because I usually get the smallest bottle because I want to make sure I actually use my fragrance. And this this size is intimidating to me, but it came within the gift set. It was a good price. And I actually got, I got a small version of, I think this is Very Good Girl Glam. I haven't played with this yet, so I can't tell you how that smells. And it also came with a lotion. So I don't even try, have to try to find like a complimenting lotion because it came with one. So it was a pretty good deal and that's why I got it. But this is another fun flirty sexy fragrance i can definitely see you wearing this on date night i can see you know how i said flora botanica is what you wear to brunch with your bougie friends this is what you wear to brunch when you go to one of those ratchet brunches you know they got the bottomless mimosas that turns into a day party and now it's like six seven o'clock and you trying to tiptoe in the house into your room so your kids want to see you drunk yeah that's what this gives. This gives a good time as well. Very sexy, very flirty, very fun. Very good girl by Caroline. What's her name? Caroline Herrera. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I really like all of my fragrances. You know, I really like them and I really wear all of them. And you can tell by the dents. I, I wear all my fragrances. I like to get my money's worth. But I got this one fragrance. Y'all, here goes another tip. Make sure you spray the fragrance on your actual body before you invest in a bottle of perfume. Because with this particular fragrance, I spray this, and this is Miss Dior Eau Parfum. I believe this is the reformulated um, fragrance that came out in 2021. So... I was in Macy's and I, I was there to smell a different fragrance. I walked past this fragrance. I sprayed it on the, you know, the little piece of paper. I was like, hmm, that smells good. Walked over to the little perfume counter, smelled all the smells. And I got down to Miss Dior and I asked the sales associate, which fragrance would she suggest? And she picked up this one too. And I smelled, I said, this is the same one I just picked up. I'll take it. Yeah, I ain't never sprayed this on my body or nothing. The next day, I... And I'm an oversprayer. <laughs> I spray myself down, get to work in my cubicle, and almost die. It stinks on me. Like, it stinks on me. It's too sweet. It's too something. I don't like to dry down. It kind of has that same milky, creamy dry down as the Elixir, Burberry Elixir. I don't know. It wasn't working with my chemistry. Every time somebody coughed, sneezed, Clear their throat. I was like, oh my God, it's me. I know it's me. Somebody's going to tell HR I'm that girl. Like, I was so embarrassed. But I will say, if you do like this fragrance, unfortunately, it lasts forever. Like, I smelt this from the beginning of my day to the end of my day. So, it does last if you are interested in this, if this works with your body, but this does not work on my body. I did say that I was going to try it one more time when it got cold outside. Um, My daughter likes this. She says that it smells like my mom, so... I don't think I'm going to like it. If I still don't like it, I'm going to give it to my mama because I hate wasting my money and I know I'm not going to wear this. But yeah, this is Miss Dior's all day perfume. <laughs> have is YSL Leave, and this is the original. Y'all, when I first heard about this line, um, I believe the Intense version had just came out or whatever. I just kept hearing everybody talk about Intense, Intense, Intense. So I went into Sephora. Of course, I wanted this bottle. That's the reason why I was interested in it because I was like, this bottle is everything. And I put it on my skin because I had since this time. And I smelled it. It stinks on me. <laughs> it stinks on me. I tried to walk around, smell. It still stinks on me. So I didn't get it. But every time I would go into, you know, Sephora, Ulta, Macy's, something like that, spray this on me, try it again. 
it just stinks on me one day something told me try all of the fragrances and they had the toilet the original and the intense version and this smells good on me like this i love this this is a this is a pretty scent to me a lot of people don't like this because of the lavender note but i like lavender and i think my body my chemistry or something pulls out the sweetness because this has just the right amount of vanilla the intense the vanilla is too intense for me like it's just too vanilla -y. i don't know if that's a word but yeah it just doesn't work for me the vanilla in this is soft um it's, it's just sweet enough for me um the only thing about this fragrance if you notice i don't really have a dent in this one because it smells fancy i feel like this would be great for a fall wedding i just I don't do that many fancy things. I'm boring. So I haven't had a chance to really use this. And that's the only thing that I don't like about this. But I love this bottle. And the fragrance is so pretty to me. Um, yeah, that's YSL Leap, the original. This fragrance is actually my most affordable fragrance. Um, but it is good. It is Vanilla Bourbon by Mix Bar. And I got this from Target for $20. This is really good um this is like the perfect vanilla scent to me i remember when i got this as soon as i got to my car <laughs> came out of the target got into my car open up the pack that's what i always do open up the packaging sprayed it on myself and i was like oh uh, actually the opening of this is weird it kind of smells like not even alcohol but it's it's, I don't know, it's a, it's a weird opening for this, but probably after a minute or two, it turns into the most beautiful, soft vanilla. And I don't know if I'm a vanilla fan, but I love this. It, it's a beautiful, soft vanilla, and it has an undertone to me of, of clean. Um, it smells like soapy or fresh or something with the soft vanilla on top. And I don't mean soft as in you can't hardly smell it, but... I don't know just it's just soft and I was like mm, this probably would mix well with fragrances and then I thought about the name mix bar I was like oh, okay I get it you're supposed to mix it with fragrances and I actually I layer these two together all the time this is beautiful but let me tell you when I got out the car I went to the grocery store got out the car and I was like hmm it smells like fresh cookies I'm like where is that coming from it smells like cookies walk into the grocery store automatically compliments everywhere oh my god you smell so good you smell so good it was me i was smelling like the cookie this it does something else when the wind hits it it turns into something else and it lasts a long time probably after about four hours it um it gets kind of smoky but this lasts about six to eight hours but after about four hours, it get, you get like a little smokiness into it. So it has different, I don't know, it changes throughout the throughout the fragrance life. I don't know. But this is really a beautiful scent. And I only paid $20 for this. I think this will be great for layering. It's great for like a fall day just to spray something on you to run errands. And I'm not the type of girl who does this. Um, but I know a lot of girls do. I think this will be a great bedtime fragrance um, because it's a soft vanilla. It's not strong. It's not, like I said, it has an undertone to me of of clean, of soap or something. So it smells like you just got done taking a bath. You got this light vanilla on. Like, especially if you got a man, like, baby, you'll be going to bed smelling like a snack, smelling real edible. <laughs> this, is, this is good. I love this. This next fragrance, and I feel like I can, this fragrance is strong. I feel like I can smell this fragrance out of all of these. Um, this is Lancome's La Nuit Trésor. Yeah, I told you, I can't, I can't, I can't speak English, so I definitely can't speak French. But yes, this, with this particular fragrance, I actually was Googling and looking for a dark and mysterious fragrance. And this is strong. Like, I can smell this out of everything. I haven't even opened the top. Oh, um, for something that was very witchy or vampy. Like, I was looking up. I was thinking about Morticia Adams. Like, I wanted to smell what Morticia Adams probably smelled like. That's the type of fragrance I was looking for. And I watched a lot of YouTube videos, TikToks, whatever. And I saw this come up several times. 
and I absolutely love the bottle and I love the price too because it's actually affordable and I did blind buy this. I actually got this um, off of Fragrance Net and the reason why I got this off of Fragrance Net was because I caught myself trying to get an old batch of the perfume and I figured maybe Fragrance Net would have an old batch but I looked at the batch number and this is from May of 2022 so it's not old but um yeah, because when I go onto the um, Long Cones website and read the reviews, apparently this was reformulated and the people were angry. Everybody loved the original scent. And everybody was talking bad about the, the reformulation. So I was like, oh, I want to try to get the original scent. And that's why I ordered from Fragrance Net. Uh, but yeah, you can't miss what you never had. So to me, this is beautiful. Um... Actually, let me tell you the note that is actually in this uh, fragrance because the notes that I have on the screen is probably from Fragrantica and um, those are the notes of the old fragrance. So if you go on to Lancome's website, it'll tell you the notes of this and they are. Okay, and why did I just realize that my jogging pants are showing on some of the video? Whatever. Um... But the notes in this top notes of lychee, raspberry, mid notes of incense and rose, and bottom notes of vanilla, patchouli, papyrus, and praline. Um, and like I said, you can't miss what you never had because this is absolutely beautiful to me. So I don't know how the original smell, but this is beautiful. It definitely smells dark and mysterious. I don't smell the lychee. I smell the incense, I think, because it smells smoky. No, this is sm I don't know. It just smells like it smells sexy. Like, I don't know. Would Morticia Adams wear this? I think she would. Um, it is kind of sweet, so maybe it's more vampy, but I I think Morticia Animals will wear this. I I actually have, I really believe she probably smells like this. This is MFK's Oud Satin Mood. Um, it has a beautiful dry down, but the opening of the Oud smells like wet dirt. Like it smells like funeral home. Like, I don't know. Her name is Morticia Adam. I just feel like she probably would smell like this. But this is beautiful too. I absolutely love this. Um, yeah. Last but certainly not least, because this is my absolute favorite fragrance out of all of these, it is Jo Malone's Mirror and Tonka. And you want to talk about a love affair with my nose. Like the first time that I smelt this was a few years ago. I had purchased a um a Jo Malone candle for my boyfriend's mom's birthday. And they gave me like a lot of different samples. And this was before I had a collection. This was before I, I was just getting into perfumes. But I, and I, and I'm going to tell you, I'm not naturally a smell good girl. Like I like to smell like soap. I like to smell clean, you know, but I never was like a perfume type of person. I would get like, I would find like a, um, a body spray that worked with my chemistry. I would get like a lot of compliments on it. So I'll keep wearing it kind of like how I did with the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Um, that's how I was. Like, I just find one thing that worked well on me and I just keep wearing that. Um, but I wanted to get into perfumes. And so I had all these different samples, Gucci Guilty. Um, I had some Louis Vuitton. I had, this probably was in 2019 cause I, I had sample of, um, Love, don't be shy. That's things on me. But um, I had all these different samples and I was smelling them and I was like, okay, this is okay. Nothing really, you know, stuck out to me like that I would actually want to purchase a bottle for. But this, I smelled this and I was like, oh my God, it's so addicting. When I tell you, I literally go to my closet and just, it's beautiful. And my daughter wears this too. Like, and this is... <laughs> This is a mature scent, like, and it's unisex. She wears this to school in the summertime, and I'm like, I know you have on my perfume. Like, I can, I can smell it everywhere. It's very strong, and it's a cologne, but it's very strong, and it lasts all day. Um, yeah, this is beautiful, though. It smells, it smells like a luxurious hug. Like, it smells so comforting and, and just beautiful. Like, I feel like the woman who wears this, like, she definitely has her life together. You know, she's definitely, um, you know, has good credit. She gets her oil changes on time. She has her bills on auto pay. Like, 
she's flying first class at the change of forecast. Like she, she's a rich auntie. Like this is, this is Boston CEO. Like that's what this is. This is beautiful, but it's also comforting. Like it also smells like cozy. Like you got your throw on and you're watching an old movie that you watched a million times. Like, I don't know. This is beautiful. This is my favorite scent. Um, and that's Joe Malone, Mer and Tom. Okay. So that's all 12 of my Ferguses. If you made it to the end, shout out to you. You're the real MVP because this video is too damn long. Um, but I'll try to edit it down as much as I can, but I did enjoy making this video. Um, I've been enjoying being obsessed with fragrances and I definitely have too many bottles for me. So I'm going to stop right here probably for some time. I'm still going to buy samples and maybe travel sprays because it's addicting. It's real addicting. I already got about a few in my head that I know I want to purchase. But let me know down in the comments below. What are you wearing? What do you like? Um, what's your favorite fragrance? Um, what do you think I might like based off some of the fragrances that I showed you? Let me know down in the comment section below. But until next time, peace out.